Hey everyone, Soundwave 84 here with the Transformers Earthrise review. In this review, take a look at Earthrise Smokescreen. First, we're going to take a look at the box. Love, love the box art here on the side. I do like the look. I mean, it, it just looks really good. I like the artwork. Again, you can see the arc in the back. It's always very prominent. I like all the box art things happen on the side. This is all happening in front of the crashed arc. And there's that big rumor that the arc will be next year's Titan class. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then the front shows you smoke screen in the bottom. Top the other side shows you the common Earthrise artwork. Turn to the back. 16 steps get you all the way around for smoke screen. And it is a lovely looking smoke screen. So let's bring the figure in. All right, here is the figure of Earthrise smoke screen. The figure is pure love. I like the look of the figure. It almost looks like a scaled down masterpiece when you just look at it. Just take a glance at the figure. It even sort of uses the first styled masterpiece head sculpt on this guy. Now my figure does have some flaws, some quality problems. And I'll point that out throughout the review and as I go on and as I look at the figure and show him off. Now just look at the figure straight head on. It looks glorious i love the colors i think uh, smoke screen is always my favorite of the dotsons and i'm guessing that because i like the color scheme sometimes colors can make a figure it can make a character it can break a character it can make the toy or the mold just look that much more better and yes i said much more better <laughs> Now looking at the figure, pick it up, take a glance. I do like what they did with the thighs. There's no hollow bits to speak of on the insides as perfect on the back sides either because the back of the legs are totally hollow inside. You do have these little flaps that you want to make sure you fold up for transformation. You want to make sure you have them down as that helps sort of hide the hollowness. Now, the reason why this is so hollow is pretty much because two-thirds of this figure it's going to collapse down and sort of jam itself inside these legs. So that is why it's so hollow. But it's smokescreen. It is how they are. It's very nice. Look up at the head sculpt of the figure. Uh, got a little few flaws around underneath the eyes. It's not like it painted perfect. But hey, you can't. It is. I'm not expecting perfection. Uh, a little paint chip right there on the front of the vehicle. And I also like when they do the headlights as a separate piece of like some kind of translucent plastic i like painted headlights but when they use a different piece of you know, material underneath i think it makes it look more quality uh more high quality than just slapping some paint on the figure itself uh i kind of wish they'd do the other number from g1 toy but we got number 80 on the side here you see he's got some places here for blast effects ports for weaponizers and stuff like that as well yeah, he looks really good. There's no painted tail lights down here. Now, we have seen so far in the images for Prowl and Blue Streak, they have their painted tail lights, but I do like the fact that he does not. It makes him a little more cartoon accurate, I guess you could say. I like that. He's got his exhaust pipes here for his smoke. So, he's a nice looking figure. We'll compare this head sculpt here with a masterpiece head sculpt. And they are very, very similar. This is the first masterpiece. Uh, head sculpt and they are very similar i think this one mimics this head sculpt more so than the anime the edition masterpiece does now your smoke screen will come with accessories of course it comes with a blue gun i've seen people where they have actually broken this front barrel so be careful it is kind of thin right here and you can he's in the back so he's out of focus uh you can kind of bend it i wouldn't recommend doing that he also comes with his uh, little shoulder cannons that will go on each side. Now, they also can form this to make it like a super gun. You can see they got the holes there on the side. And you just peg each one in like so. And then he can have a gun like this to wield. Or you can pick these and put them on his shoulders like you know you want to. And you just slide into the little gaps provided slots. Like this, I kind of wish they were uh, silver or gray, you know, the color. I think they'll look a little better. You know, blue matches with the actual toy, but I think that being the other way would be a little more uh, cartoon or even toy accurate. And of course, he has his gun right here. You can peg into either hand. Tight fit, so be careful when you push it in. And yes, it all holds blast effects. It's one of the bigger ones. I think this one came with... Uh, 
Scorponok. So that is Smokescreen. Let's compare him real quick with Siege Smokescreen. Side by side with Siege Smokescreen. Or should I say Generation Selects Smokescreen. And my Generation Select Smokescreen has Matrix Workshop upgrades. He's got an upgraded gun and shoulder cannons. Uh, which are a little more accurate, I guess you could say, and instead of these little bitty uh, round blue ones on the shoulders. I actually do kind of like, like I like the small ones. They're not in your way. They're they're out of your way. I like that as well. Compare the head sculpts real quick with these guys. He's got a more of a off-white face, and he's got the silver face. More Cybertronian, I guess more uh, alien-looking, robotic. But they do share some similarities in their build and some similarities as well in the transformation. More comparisons here is with a G1 reissue smokescreen. Now my actual G1 smokescreen is pretty much a piece of crap now. He, I've played the crap out of him. And he is just a floppy piece of mess, missing most pieces. But this is an altogether G1 reissue smokescreen. Next to Earthrise Cliff Jumper, Earthrise Hoist. And Siege Red Alert. My, my Siege Red Alert here has non-F upgrades. And next to the first Masterpiece version of Smokescreen. Alright, so let's quickly go over articulation on this figure. Shoulders. They, they actually tab in on this piece. It does not hold. This one actually tabs all the way around it. But it comes up so easily. But uh, you got this right here like that. And... Since mine comes undone. I might have to get me another smoke screen later on uh, down the road. Just because uh, a few quality issue flaws on this copy here. Uh, he's got bicep swivel. Really tight. Uh, elbow bends to there. He's got wrist swivels. If I can get him to swivel. There we go. He's got a waist swivel all the way around. 360. Head can look up to there. There's really no down and you can 360 his head all the way around as well he's got out to here on his hips kick up to there hit his bumper kick back to about there knee bends all the way he's got ankle uh or foot rockers for transformation ankle tilts to there and upper thigh swivels, which can 360 all the way around as well. So lots of articulation on tapped him. On this guy, I just wish his arms actually tabbed in. This one doesn't stay tabbed, but it will actually um, lock onto that piece. There's a little black tab, and this actually will slide over it. This black tab over here is damaged. You can see where it kind of goes in. It, this will not go all the way over it. So... That, that's a that's a bummer, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. It's still an excellent piece. The other thing on my copy is this piece here isn't flush with this. It's not, not pushed in all the way. I think it's just got a little bit of extra plastic in there. I probably if it ever pops out, I probably could sand it down a little bit and then refix it myself. I've actually tried pushing it in, but it will not go. These are his hill spurs. They do fold in for transformation. So I'll just let you know they are there as well. And I do want to see if you can exchange the Matrix Workshop upgrades on Earthrise Smokescreen. And here he is with the Matrix Workshop upgrades applied to him. If you like this look, you can go. I know TF Safari sells these. Um, you also you probably look on eBay. It gives you a silver gun and silver uh, shoulder cannons. Now they do not tab in flush. They don't tab in flush on the Generation Selects either. Uh, if you want, if you did buy these, you probably could sand down some so it can be more flush there if you want that to be. Uh, they're a little bit further down on the selects. It's a little bit tighter fit on the Earthrise. Same with the gun as well. But if you like this look, let's let you know. You can search different places, eBay, tfsafari.com, and uh, order a set of Matrix Workshop pieces for them. I'll also try to leave a link to it down in the description below if these upgrades tickle your fancy. Alright, so let's get into transformation on Earthrise Smokescreen. Um, first of all, I don't know if I showed or not. These are on hinges, so you can move the doors back a bit if you want to get them more out of your way. That, that You do have that ability. Now, the transform Smokescreen, first thing you want to do is 
First thing you want to make sure is all his weapons and accessories are off the figure. I'm pretty sure you can transform him with the shoulder uh, cannons attached because nothing's really going to get in that area. But you might knock him out trying to move stuff around. So it's just best to remove them and then put them back in when you're finished. So first thing you want to do is uh, rotate him at the waist. Or I guess it would be the second thing after you move to his accessories. Then you come down here to his legs. Fold these little piece, this piece up here. So it goes right there. You, very simple. Then you want to tap in his legs. You can see there's a tab here. We'll go right in there and a peg here, which will peg in right there. So just line all that up. Push it in. It is very tight. Get it in. Come up here. You want to raise him at the shoulders. First, you want to untab that. So if yours is actually tabbed in, which mine doesn't tab in, you would untab the uh, shoulders and bring them up. And grab them by the torso. You want to now remove this and bring this whole thing up. You see how this kind of fits into there? We we'll bring this up and over. So there's a piece here that will come down and it will tab onto this. And it just forms, it fills in the gap here where his head was sticking through. And you'll come to his arms. You want to bring these down like this where the part of the car is more level again. Then re bring your shoulders up on this extra hinge in here. So you got it sort of like this. Now you want to take his legs. You want to bring them up at the knees. You want to bend them at the knees. And what you want to do is get this piece here to line up with this. So it's kind of you're going to bring this up. And you want to catch it under this. And now what you're going to do is collapse his legs and his torso. And it's going to go all the way inside here. Now the instructions tell you to rotate his head 180. If I'm in the instructions, they show you turn his head 180. Then the next step has his head facing back the way it was. So I, I guess you can choose to do either way. But after you turn his head, you want to complete finishing this. It's pretty much you're just shoving his whole torso up to this his legs are going to come all the way up to this part right below his head i'm saying you're shoving his whole torso and legs into this gap down here so it's just you want to make sure that this actually stays there and then you want to just fold all this in like that then you take these pieces here you want to fold them in like that yeah, it can't move on me there. Then you want to take his arms. You want to rotate here to get the wheels facing up. Then you bring his arms down to face in. It's a simple step, man. Why can't you do it? So then bring his arms down like this. You see there's a tab right here, which is going to hook into the doors there. There's a big spot here. It's going to go right in there. So bring his arms down. For the reason I'm having a little bit of trouble with this door. I'm not understanding why. There we go. Now bring this down. Then you want to close these in. Tab them to his arms and to the back of the car. Same on this side. And one of these sides doesn't want to stay in. I think it's this side here. So I gotta make sure that the door is tapped to his arm when I do this. Voila! Now you have transformed smoke screen into his vehicle mode. Now you can take his weapons. The gun can now peg onto the top of the car. Now doing so, I've untapped everything again. He's just got that one door I just want to tap in well. Many of these pieces here just go right back. Onto the hood of the car. Helps if you can hold on to them. Because I sure as hell can't. There you go. Rolls really good. That's probably one of the best rolling transformers I had in a while. It seems to have no problems with clearance. And nothing rubs on anything. Tires move freely. It's an excellent looking vehicle mode. Uh, I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks or Repper Labels does by giving us some more G1 accurate uh, stickers or something maybe to cover that. kind of like to have a number to go here because that would be hidden in robot mode anyway. And I'm sure they'll do tail lights if you're interested in stuff like that. Um, 
So really my problem with vehicle mode is keeping this one door side here tabbed in. That's probably the biggest flaw or um, on my figure in vehicle mode. It is very nice looking though. Let's do some quick comparisons here. Here it is next to Select's hubcap. Next to Select's smoke screen. Siege G2 version of Sideswipe. And next to KBB Spy Hornet, I believe his name is. Or just a version of Bumblebee taking off the New Age mold. With sort of the first MP Bumblebee head sculpt. Now let's see how he looks with the Matrix Workshop upgrades applied to him in vehicle mode. There he is with the shoulder cannons. And with the shoulder cannons and gun attached. Alright, so final thoughts on Earthrise Smokescreen. Lovely bot mode. Excellent vehicle mode. My copy's got a few flaws, a few little paint areas that could have been touched up or done better. I had some chippage. Also, oh, look what I forgot. See, it's going to be easy to overlook these little flaps. I'll bring those down. Um, also, he's got that little piece down here, which is not even or flush. And also that one tabbing of that one door. Otherwise, he's a very good transformer. Pose as well. Excellent articulation. He just looks so great. I really like this. It looks like a little mini smokescreen masterpiece. I know I said that earlier. That's how I feel about this smokescreen. I can't wait to get a hold of Blue Streak and Prowl. This smokescreen is really good. Now, to let you know, he is kind of lightweight. He actually weighs less than the Generation Select smokescreen, which I think it was like 76 grams. He's like 72 grams. They're close, but this figure, he does feel light in your hands. So people who want someone with some heft, you're not going to get it with this figure. But it's still an excellent looking figure. It looks good with what it came with for the weapons, the blue. I also think I like it with the Matrix Workshop upgrades. It's a nice smoke screen. And I, 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 do, I feel kind of duped having to buy, not having, I don't have to. But you know, getting these characters in Siege and then with more than half of what Earthrise is. Is the same Siege characters just redone. You can say, hey, well, now you got them in a Cybertronian alt mode and in an, uh, and an Earth alt mode. Yes, but do I really need that? Some characters I can see. Uh, the Seekers, yeah, I can kind of see them, but there's tons of those guys. But it's just, the, these modes are so similar in the vehicle modes and robot modes. I don't. I feel weird having two of him. Because it is just too similar to me. I don't know. It's, it's just an observation. I feel you know, like the money could have been better spent on other stuff. Instead of having two blue streaks, two smoke streams, two prowl. You know, I'm on a rant now. It's an excellent figure. If you can find this guy, pick him up. He is really nice. Till next one. Peace out.